All right, guys, you know what this is. It's time for another episode of Movie Buzz. What's up, everybody? We're doing Movie Buzz again today, and today we've got Philium, myself, T, and of course, a schmo. We've got Mark Ellis, everyone. I am so happy to be here watching perhaps the greatest Batman movie that was made in 1997. On today's episode of Movie Buzz, we are watching Batman and Robin. That's right, the George Clooney Batman. I got so excited when you said Batman, then the Anne Robin just kind of yeah. clawed my expectations a little bit. And the thing about this movie is, it's so good that no one sells it. I called every DVD store in town, all the Best Buys, the Targets, no one sells this movie. I had to get a used box set of all the Batman movies from 89 to 97 just to get this one. Probably because it's too good. This is why Superman works alone. So today while we watch Batman and Robin, we won't just be hate watching it for our own pleasure, we'll be suffering through it with a drinking game. Now the shit head today is actually me because I have never seen this movie. I was probably, you know, a young kid when it came out, but even by then I was cynical enough to know that it was not worth watching. Meanwhile, in my <laughs> house, I was burning the VCR by watching it over and over and over. You've seen it a ton of times, you've never seen it. I've seen it once or twice. We're dudes, we have to see Batman at some point, and when we're all of age, we should probably do it while getting hammered. Cool party! So let's go over the rules today of the Batman and Robin hate watch drinking game. In honor of Cinefix's Batman month, we've got Batman buzz today. Uh, anytime there is a shot of nipple, butt, or crotch, that's a drink. Don't try this at home though, because I hear there's a lot of nip. We are trained professionals. If anyone says dick, Ooh. that's a drink. Like this? Dick. This is gonna be fun. Just like that. Anytime Robin, aka Dick, gets whiny or bitches, that's a drink. So do we just have an IV during the whole movie? Anytime Mr. Freeze makes a pun, that's Ooh. two drinks. Anytime there's a new costume, a new vehicle, or a new gadget for no apparent reason, Two drinks. Anytime someone says McGregor syndrome, which I don't know what that means yet, but I guess I'll find out soon enough, that's three drinks. And finally, when we see the Batman credit card, which apparently is also a thing in this movie, we have to finish our drinks. You mean finish yo drink. Finish yo drink. <laughs> All right guys, let's do this thing. It's time to hate watch Batman and Robin. I am I'm armed excited. and ready to go. All right, let's wait. do this. You know, think about Mr. Freeze. Nip Nipple shot. Oh no. Watch that thing. Is this oh, a real movie? Is, is this, this a, a joke? Wait. That's like eight drinks. Finish your beer. Is this the menu or is this. Oh, this movie's awful. The Iceman cometh. Cheers, Iceman. That was good. Oh, that's God. A, that's, that's two that's more. A... Oh, Robin wasn't expecting ice. His name is Mr. Free. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta prepare for this stuff, kid. Wait, Batman and Robin yeah. have skates in their shoes? Is yeah. that considered a new gadget? No, that's kind of part of the costume. I if, think we should probably I think we should we drink should, twice. Yeah, we should that. try to forget that. Batman was so smart, he's like, you never know when you're gonna need ice skates in your boots. You wanna know how the dinosaurs went extinct? The ice age! <laughs> Yeah. Like, all of his dialogue is just zingers. He doesn't have to do any of that emotional, says, yeah. where's my daughter? Yeah. The whole movie is getting the ice chopper. How quickly do you think Christian Bale as Batman would have had this whole problem solved? Uh-oh, I smell a new toy coming. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's two. Can I ask a question? How nervous would Batman be if he knew Robin is the only thing standing between him and death? You know who's coming up, you guys? Uh, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. I'm Poison. Do you think back into your childhood and you're like, why did I love this so much? Was it just comfort food for you? I, it must have been. So Bane was created by Bill Nye, the science guy's dad. Is yes. what I'm getting from this film. Okay, I feel like wow. I need a breather. They're finally like calming it down, but it's been like 20 minutes of just non-stop high octane thrill rides. Can you imagine being in the theater seeing this movie and then somebody comes in a little late, they sit next to you and they say, hey, what did I miss? <laughs> My head just exploded. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. Does everybody yeah. else know that that's Bruce Wayne? No. <gasps> Finish the Batman it! Batman card! Oh, Batman boy. forever. Never leave the cave without it. I think it actually said <laughs> on the card. Like expiration date forever or something. He's putting <laughs> seven million on the bat card. <laughs> this is actually an insane clown posse concert. Oh gosh, you mean oh. a gathering? They're all, uh, 
Joker. Is that Coolio? Joker lose. That is Coolio. Wait, was that really Coolio? That was really Coolio. I think we all just need to have a small sip to that. I think we need to have a big sip to that. Yeah. <laughs> so we found Mr. Freeze's dead wife. Yeah, his drowned dead wife. Yeah, who is kind of on ice, but it looks like she's just in a pool. Yeah, she's just kind of on water, so it's not ice. McGregor oh, syndrome. Oh my god, McGregor syndrome. Do we think that's a real disease? McGregor syndrome. McGregor Stuck syndrome. Stuck in a tank of water. <laughs> Here comes oh, the yeah. Here comes juice. the boner powder. <laughs> what yeah, is I the think... password? It's not Wayne. Right? <laughs> I know what it is. I remember. Do you guys oh. want me to tell you? Spoiler? Oh. Yeah. Sure. Peggy. Or Peg. Whatever the name of the woman in the in the picture. <laughs> That's kind of weird to have your password be your sister. I have the hiccups. You know, I gotta tell you, as bad as this movie is, Clooney, still hit it. Ew, that's really... You know, when my old relatives give me clothes, I generally don't wear them. <gasps> Bye -bye. There we go. Bye! Bye shot. That was a slow-mo button. <laughs> nipples! Girl nipples! I'm drinking two for that. Little Robin. Nobody respects Robin, ever. Here comes. Gross. Ew. Ew. Rubber lips. Drink to that. This is basically uh -oh. Batman trying to save America from becoming Canada. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Just don't get too cold. Yeah, let's artificially warm the planet. That never hurts anything. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Just ask Al Gore. They're like, global warming started around 97, which is exactly when Batman and Robin used a satellite to harness the sun <laughs> to heat the planet. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Don't, George, there's one guy you don't go to. <laughs> and it's the guy that just ruined the city. You know who loves this movie? Chris Nolan. He's like, <laughs> I have nothing to follow. Yeah. This yeah. is gonna be so easy. I figured you could handle it. You know, Dick. 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 Cheers. We're going to need a bigger cave. Is that the last line? Oh look, they're all running together. We're gonna need a bigger cave. We're gonna need a bigger cave. You love this. I'm sorry. Bravo. Oh my god, I can't believe how bad that was. It was even worse than I remembered. I saw this movie during the summer of 1997 at a dollar theater, and I'm thinking about calling that theater. For a refund. And asking for Correct. my money. With back. interest. That movie mm. is like not exactly one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Like, but you watch this like a thousand times. I know. I you see. You love it. The one redeeming value about this movie <laughs> is that it makes for one hell of a drinking game. I mean, yeah. we had bat nipples, we had bat cars, we had some mysterious disease called the McGregor syndrome. That was the weakest rule. Like now that I've actually watched the movie, that's one I would omit and I would exchange it and say for every time someone gets a boner powder blown on them. But I think it's time for us to regroup and perhaps talk about the future of Batman. Well guys, we did it. We watched Batman and Robin. We drank a lot. We're still drinking. There's because... a lot of empty soldiers on that table over there. We, we Guys, we sat through Batman and Robin in the year 2013. That's impressive. Cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. That's, I forgot how bad the movie was, but Phil, you've seen that movie like a hundred times. But what you know happened? what? The best parts of that movie was when it was over. <laughs> that was my personal thing. When I started seeing credits, I was just like, I'm free. You can say that again. It was really weird to watch, and then you see where Batman went from there, because that was pretty much the death knell for Batman for a while. And then Christopher Nolan was like, I think I can do something with this franchise. I gotta be Which able to follow this guy. Which is completely ignore everything they just did. Yeah, they what do we call, what was the name of the movie? Batman Begins. Yes. Parentheses again. And now we have Batman is gonna be played by Ben Affleck. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. How's he gonna how's he gonna slide into Clooney's nipples? Honestly, because the, the immediate comparison, of course, when Affleck was announced, was just like, oh god, here we go again. Like Clooney, widely recognized as the worst Batman we've had so far, even worse than Adam West. Yeah. But I think that this movie proves first of all, Adam West, come on, he was a great Batman. Different thing entirely. For the time, that convertible got a lot of chicks. And a few dudes, I'm sure. In this I don't know. Movie. I feel like I feel like comparing the TV Batman, it's like apples and airplanes. Like... Hand me down. 
the shark repellent bat spray. You can't even compare TV Batman with the movies. But my personal favorite Batman is still Michael Keaton. Even I'm with you. Christian Bale. Yeah, I, I would mean, agree. I'm in. And and I'll say this for you too, is that the one redeeming value about Batman and Robin, the reason why maybe you should have watched it a few times, is because George Clooney is not a bad Bruce Wayne. You can tell this movie was just poison from the start. It's right. just it's poison ivy from the start. That, there you go. Ooh, Joel drink. Schumacher <laughs> breathed that poison Fun. crap into every actor he hired because they all bought into this stupid stuff, right? Yeah. Yep. It's really weird because I feel like to some extent the actors had to know like this is a disaster. Like this is not a good movie. We are damaging our careers by doing this. And I feel like there were there had to be like some point on set where George Clooney's like, you don't believe me right now, but someday like I'm gonna win an Oscar. I know it sounds like I'm being funny, but eventually like it is gonna happen. And Chris O'Donnell runs in and he's like, me too. Yeah, and like, then everyone just no. laughed and laughed and laughed. That's gotta hurt. It's like Joel Schumacher, the director of Forever and Batman and Robin, watched Batman Forever and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna do what I did in this movie except make it even worse. Yeah, yeah it's like he, he watched Batman Forever. just, you know what? I think I took myself too seriously. <laughs> Batman and Robin is a movie that's so bad that it actually kind of opened the floodgates to let superhero films reinvent themselves. Yeah. And that's what, this movie's so bad that Hollywood was like, look, Batman's a great character. We have to do another one of these. Let's get a guy that knows what he's doing behind the camera. And then it went from there. I completely agree. When I was watching that movie and it was so bad that I kind of felt like I was legitimately watching like an SNL sketch of what a bad superhero movie would look like. I was like, you know, I think how terrible this movie is, is what allowed the other superhero movies that came after it to completely just take a different direction. It gave them mm -hmm. the license to like, you know what? That shit is over. I did enjoy a couple moments when you guys were having full on just like discussions and I was like, <laughs> We're trying to talk about, wait, is Danny Elfman in this at all? Did yeah. he compose any of the music? And you're like, I remember seeing this for the 14th time. And you're like, <laughs> and you're like, shh, my favorite line is coming up. Don't what I up. didn't remember was the aggressive crotch, butt, boob, nipple. I mean, that was the opener. opening. I, I thought that That it was, was the most show. aggressive opener in any film, I think, ever. What grade would we give this film if we gave them grades? Clooney has a good Bruce Wayne in him, it just didn't allow to get out, and I like that Smashing Pumpkins song that played during the, the credits, so I'll Did give this like movie. you like it because it was the end credits, or because? <laughs> I was pretty happy that the movie was over, yeah. I'll go one out of five schmoes for Batman and Robin. I'm gonna go ahead and hijack your ranking system. Please do. And I'm gonna go with a goose egg. <laughs> Zero out of five schmoes. As much as I love a pun, things like always winterize your pipes. I'm sorry, I would much rather watch True Lies like several times because I still love that movie. You gave it a one. I gave it a one schmo. I feel like I have schmoes. to give it higher than you, but like giving a two out of five seems aggressive. You, can you go love decimals. this movie. You can go decimals. You can go 1.1 if you want. I might go 1.7 out of five schmoes. Which rounds up to a two, which means he still <laughs> loves it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Cinevix. Of course, subscribe to Schmoes Now. We've got a whole schmo here. I'm telling you in person to subscribe. All right, I'm a whole schmo. Subscribe. Whole schmo. <laughs> Beer's delicious. Batman and Robin, not so much. Let us know in the comments what you want to see us do next on Movie Buzz. Of course, this is in honor of Batman Month here on Cinefix, but we'll be doing more episodes of Movie Buzz if you guys keep watching it, so give us some suggestions. We probably won't listen, but you know, knock yourself out. Thanks for watching.